What is it, Liam? Eggplant. Did you call it egg fruit? I like that name better. So there's eggplant and okra. What else do you see? I believe that's the biggest orb weaver I've ever seen. I just came out here to check on the cow, make sure she wasn't giving birth or nothing. And he's spinning his web. He's almost done. He keeps going round and round. He knows I'm here though now, so he's like stopped. You gone? Finish your work. It's a beautiful web. Orb weavers are not bad spiders to have. Even if you don't like spiders. That that web might be gone in the morning. See the shadow of it over there on the wall? Oh my gosh. Giant spider alert. It's huge. It's like the size of a quarter, y'all. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I couldn't find my zip ties. And I was in a hurry. So I grabbed some bailing twine to secure a pig-proof door on this new buck paddock. Why, you say? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because this bill keeps getting out and going in the neighbor's yard to eat acorns. So I corralled him in here today. He can't get out now. I am a firm believer that if you are going to have animals, it is your responsibility to make sure that you keep them in your property. For safety reasons, for congeniality reasons, everything. All in all, it's just the right thing to do. So anytime we discover a weakness in our fencing, we always jump on it and get it fixed as fast as we possibly can. We worked on this till dark last night once we found out that the pigs had been over there at the neighbor's. Um, the little piglets, much harder to contain. Ryan's going to have to do a bigger project this evening to get that resolved. But at least now, Bill is not going to go over there. So I think if Bill doesn't go over there, the babies will probably stay over here because they really haven't been wandering far when they get out of the holes of the fence. They're just almost at the point where they're too big to fit out the fence holes anymore. So hopefully... This day won't be full of me chasing baby piglets out of the neighbor's yard. <laughs> and if I do, I'm probably going to open this gate and try to get them and come in here with Bill. And that's it. They're just going to have to be weaned. Um, I might have to see if I can bring Mama up here, but I didn't want this paddock to be full of pigs. I wanted to section it off with electric net fencing, but something is wrong with our solar charger. It's not working as good as it should be i'm not sure why so we're gonna try to get some new alligator clips we saw that there was some corrosion on ours so maybe that's it so hopefully that'll fix the problem so it won't become a worse problem so always something right so i got mama and all her babies back into the pallet pen in hopes of securing them but the babies can go in and out still because of the way we did the pallets. When we did it that way, we were thinking that 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 made it so that nobody could climb the wall like a ladder. We weren't thinking about babies. So Ryan's going to bust some pallets up this evening and put boards across the lower level where the babies can reach. Because as you can see, they still can squeeze out even though they're much bigger. And you can hear that clicking. Our... That should have been zapping that baby. This fence is just so confused right now. I don't know why it's not working. All right, go see your mama. Oh, nice poop, thanks. Bill, you are adorable. Anybody ever tell you that? Oh yeah, I tell you every day, don't I? Adorable Bill. Him's my boy. That baby. <laughs> Love you, Bill. That's not Bill. Bowser. Mm. I am losing my mind. I'm going to go back inside and try to finish our homeschool morning work. Because <laughs> that's what I was in the middle of when I got the text from the neighbor. Pigs are in the yard. Just wanted to let you know. I'm so glad they're so nice. 
So yesterday we were able to go visit some of our friends that we have that have a beautiful organic farm, Rogers Greens and Roots. We went over there to see if they had any leftover fall plants so we could get some pot of that for an event we're doing this weekend. And luckily they had some extra. So I have been working this afternoon on getting some pot of that into bigger arrangements. I'm trying to combine like plants with like plants and give people an opportunity to grow their own cut and come again garden on their back porch. So these are the trays we got. We got some bok choy, a bunch of lettuce mix. I've already used most of them. Cabbage, kale, and Swiss chard. So I potted some up into three inch pots. I was trying to find some cuter pots to do some combination plants, but the dollar store and everything is all out of that. So I had some 12 packs, four packs and six packs. I potted up into different combinations and then these little example gardens. So hopefully people will get the idea that you can grow even on your back porch. Oh, hi, are you fixing my problem? I'm trying. Sweet! So what he's doing is he's putting chicken wire all the way around so that the piglets won't be able to get out of there so we can put them in there. Hello, why are you eating my toe? You're the boy. There's two big brown ones. One's a girl, one's a boy. I think I'm gonna keep the girl and keep one of the black girls for future breeders. For you, Bowser. That will be your future wife. Won't it be amazing? Get a little bit more Cooney Cooney back into our American Guinea Hog mix. They are mixed with Cooney Cooney, but they have um, definitely more American Guinea Hog, it seems. Follow Mama. Come on, guys. Got one more, one more. It's confused because it can't get in the way it used to. Tell me if any come towards the door. I'll stay back. Shoot. We might just have to catch that one. All right. All right. I'll leave it cracked if it comes. Well, tell me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> It's trying all the way around. It's gonna go, it's gonna go into dad's pen and try to come through that way, but it won't be able to. Don't shock yourself. You can hear it. It's like, ah, I can't get in there anymore. Oh no, it's gonna go out the back. <laughs> it's, it's out the back. All right, maybe it'll circle back around this way. All right, come on little guy. Doors open. Come all the way. Come all the way. Yeah, if you could come around that side, I'll I'll stay right here. Ready? Come on, baby, go in. <laughs> now we'll be able to catch the ones that we need to put at the market and they won't be able to get in the neighbor's yard anymore Whew. man that's better <laughs> oh look that one's got your steak bone the littlest one your foot is caught. You, you're okay. You just had it hung up on the edge. Look at that one with a steak bone. The smallest one in there. Savage. Bill thinks I'm definitely crazy. I know, Bill. You miss, you miss your mama. I'm gonna get her up here this weekend. We're going to get you guys set up with another charger, one of our older chargers that hopefully will work by itself with just one fence for you, Cooney. 
And looky there. Would you look at it? There are two little pigs that are out and they are what looks to be the smallest of the litter. So there's a small opening somewhere in the fence Ryan just fixed for them. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I'm so glad Bowser doesn't try to wander off like these other pig butts. I would be scared if I came out here and he was missing. He got a little friend in here with him. Is it a female? We're looking at keeping two of the, yeah, it's a female, so. I don't know, halfway debating whether the ones that are getting out should probably be the ones I try to sell the first. <laughs> or if this one's friendly with Bowser, then maybe it's the one I should keep, you know? But I think any of them would be friendly with Bowser, so yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. I haven't had all my coffee this morning. Drank about half my cup and said, oh, I need to go check. Oh, Bowser, you're so cute. The wood chips have definitely made a difference in the smell over here. The chicken's like scratching in it. So that's working out really good. The lime and the wood chips. I don't smell anything and I'm standing right here. That's what we want. You gotta have a good carbon to nitrogen ratio. Oh my goodness, Oral, why are you crying so much this morning? What are you doing? What's what's going on? Hmm? 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 You just want some scratches? You're like, I'm I'm like Bowser. I'm I'm orange and black. Can't I be getting ear scratches too? This kitty. This kitty. Oh, scritches, you heard the word. See, he does come out of his fence because there's a little opening where one of the other piglets had its ear tag caught in the electric fence and Ryan cut it. So, oh, look at that. Are you being friendly, Aura? <laughs> but anyway, he comes in and out that like a doggy door, but he doesn't go wandering off in the neighbor's yard. No, he doesn't need a good boy. I don't want him learning any of them bad habits. He just wants to be around his mama and his bonus mom and dad, me and Ryan. Oh, yeah. I feel good, huh? What do you think, Cora? Go in the door, go in the door, go in the door. Yes! Okay. Hopefully. 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 We've covered up any gaps that look big enough for a baby pig to fit through. Let's pray that works. Now we just watch and wait to see where else they might be able to get a hole out. I'm sure there's other spots, but for now, that's all we've got in us. Hooey, suey. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be a repeat of last night of me going, Ryan, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. It didn't work. It's like trial and error and yep. lather, rinse and repeat, all that. 
So keeping full-grown pigs inside of a fence or a structure seems to be pretty simple and straightforward and easy. Baby pigs are not the story. That's what we're learning. We're learning as we go. Things nobody told you before you became a pig farmer. Baby pigs can fit out of any size opening. Truth. <laughs> and people said keeping goats in was hard. <laughs> they never had baby pigs trying to escape, right? They're, they're much harder, I think. I think so too. We really have been blessed with not too many issues with keeping our goats in. The premier electric fence worked great. The snow climb fence is working great. With the occasional jumpers. When you have a jumper in your herd, just get rid of it. Sorry, sorry, Robert. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. One, one, one made it out. How? I don't know. That's the female I was talking about keeping too. I was saying, the nice big brown female would be a good one to keep. Ooh, I don't know. How is it the only one that got out? No idea how. Everybody else is still locked up. But she, she got out. But she's staying over here for now. Hopefully that stays that way. Oh, and then you're such a good helper. Are you trying to get rid of all those weeds? I cannot stay on top of this. This is one of the major downfalls of starting a new garden in the middle of a lawn. <laughs> but hopefully the next go around will be better because I'll be able to put the mulch down first and then plant. We do have some beets coming in. They had a lot of damage from the extreme wet weather we had. The leaves just shriveled up, but they're getting new growth. You can see it's coming out. It's looking better. Got some radishes that are definitely gonna be harvestable. I interplanted carrots in the radishes. So there are some of those. Those take a lot longer, probably not until spring. These daikon radish have huge, huge leaves, but no root yet. I might harvest some leaves to saute. I've got just a couple of pea plants left in here. There were a whole bunch more all the way down, but I think a deer came in and ate them. And then I have this dock that overseeded all through here that is taking over. Bill and Friendship are both using the shelter for shade. She was just under there, but she walked out when we came up. Bill, you like that nice shelter I made? What about you, Mama? You trying to get the chickens? <laughs> Are you giving them grass? I don't know why I feel like I should be whispering. I'm outside now. <laughs> I still have some kids asleep, but we are getting ready for a farming friend to arrive to help us castrate the baby pigs. We have three in this litter that we're going to turn into barrows and it's not something I've ever done before and it's a little bit more invasive than just banding a goat. So I've got a helper come in to teach me how and I'm very grateful for that. So it cost like $200 to have a vet do it. So it's definitely, and it's definitely a non, and it's, it's not a severe enough surgery or procedure that I don't feel like I'm completely capable of doing. I just want to make sure that I see how to do it before I attempt it on my own. So we shall see. Why am I so nervous? Oh, that's because I don't like it when I have to do these types of things as a farmer. But sometimes as a farmer, you got to do tough things. 
and it's better off for the animals. Um, they'll live a better life if they don't have raging hormones to deal with and they'll make better pets. They'll grow out better for uh, meat. So whichever way they are sold, this is a better option.